what is up guys if this is your first time on this channel my name is coach cam and i am the owner of primal tribe coaching and our goal is to kill off your inner bitch and feed your inner beast asap that way you can get rolling on getting results and start to see your goals come closer and closer into your reality so this video today as i'm sure you know is about overcoming adversity so i want to talk a little bit about my personal life because i just really love this story of overcoming and dealing with all of the hardships that came my way when i took on this absolutely freaking crazy goal so i'm just going to give you a little bit of a background story on how all of this started out and then I'm going to get into the really good parts of the story. So I was living in my hometown and I was running a business. I was running Primal Tribe actually. And I felt like I was successful. I was able to just run my business and not do anything else for work. Um, but it just wasn't at the level that I wanted it to be. And I didn't have enough knowledge about life and life skills and people skills and communication skills. Like I just felt overall I was really lacking as a person and I needed to develop who I was to become better for my business, for my clients and for my overall purpose. So I had a mentor in my hometown and I asked him if you could give me one piece of advice or like one recommendation what would you tell me so that I can improve like my skills and just become better overall? And he told me that I should start learning about sales. Honestly, before this point in my life, I did have quite a desire to do sales, but I never actually got into it because back in the day, me and my dad, we worked at the same furniture store together and he was the manager of sales and he's been in sales for like probably around 20 years. And I always really, really wanted to go into sales because I understood how their pay structure worked. And I just thought it was so cool that you can literally decide how much money you're going to make. When my dad told me about the fact that he just talks and then it makes people open up their wallets and essentially give him money, I was thinking like, this is such a superpower. You have the superpower to print money. And I had always been really in awe that this was actually a thing because growing up, we we were lacking financially. And as a kid, I wasn't sheltered from that. And I knew that we didn't have enough money. And it always made me really scared and uncomfortable and just sad because I felt like I wanted to be able to have the ability to have all the things that the other kids did. But like it or not, there was nothing I could really do about that. And so it stressed me out because I watched both my dad and my mom not have enough money for basic necessities. And I was like, hell, I never want to end up like this. So I was never able to go into sales regardless of how much I wanted to because it would be a conflict of interest. Obviously, he would be my direct manager and I would be one of his employees. So I just stayed in customer service while everyone else went out and sold. And I had decided later on after getting the advice from my mentor to go and learn about sales, I had decided that I was just going to throw myself wholeheartedly into this thing called selling and leave my old life behind. I really, really felt like I had kind of reached a level of stagnancy in my life, even though I was super young. I just didn't see the progress that I wanted. And I saw myself going down a path that I didn't desire overall. So I decided that I was going to get rid of my house, get rid of my two dogs, um, get rid of the person that was in my life as a romantic partner at the time, and that I was going to pack my bags and move out west and literally leave the life that I had once known here in my hometown and 
go out west to do door to door sales because I had looked into sales and started learning more about it. And then I found out that literally everyone I looked up to had done sales at some point in time in their career. All of the top 1% of the most successful people had done either like cold calling or door to door sales or something that made them really get out of their shell and face that rejection, win over that success, and just really master the game of communication, gaining confidence, and mastering like the art of selling. Once I started to see this, I felt like I was just peeling an onion and I saw so many different levels to this game and this art. So it really intrigued me. I kind of noticed that everyone that influences people nowadays is actually in sales. I decided I was going to move out west, leave all my friends and everything that I knew behind, and literally burn the ships. It was gonna be a moment of fly or die. I went out there with the door-to-door -door job, didn't know anyone, but moved in with all of my colleagues. And if you know anything about sales, it is male dominated. So I was like living with probably around like 20 other guys on our sales team. And then there were like three, four girls and we were all living together. <laughs> it was such a good time. We had so much fun. We on the weekends would play sports and we would go out and go sightseeing. We would go swimming. We would go out shopping. We would friggin' blow the money that we made on our commissions. And then through the week we would grind so friggin' hard. It was just absolutely amazing. And also being able to see that there's a whole other side to life and cultural diversity. I made a ton of friends out there that came from different parts of this country and other countries. And so their story and their culture and everything was just so diverse. It was absolutely amazing. And then through all of these wonderful experiences, the thing that really put the biggest obstacle in my way was that as soon as I got out there, my first day with my new sales team, we got shut down because of COVID. And so we were only being paid strict commission. What that means is until our office opened back up, there was literally no way that we were able to make any money. So we did do cold calling over the phone for a bit. That was super, super, super hard because we didn't even really know our pitch. We didn't even really know our product. And most of us had just also left their family. For some people, it was the first time being without their friends and family and being in a completely new part of the country. And it was just like a huge learning experience overall. So there was a lot to adapt to and a lot to take in all in a short period of time. Then when our office got reopened, we were probably closed down for like almost four weeks. We started to go stir crazy and we were just losing our marbles one by one by one. But when our office finally opened again, we were super, super happy to be able to go out and fucking knock some doors. So we were out there doing door to door sales and they said that the law of averages would kick in after you knocked roughly a hundred doors, even if you were one of the worst salespeople, you were going to end up making at least one sale if you talked to or knocked a hundred doors. And I remember I was so shy. I was stuttering. I just wasn't even the same person that I am today. I had like zero self-confidence and I had gone literally the longest that they had ever seen without selling. So guys, I was out there three weeks, okay? Three friggin' weeks, knocking doors six days a week. We were working like 50, 60 hours. It was literally crazy. And I went like three weeks without selling 
fucking anything. They said that they had never ever seen someone knock that many doors and never make a sale. But I understand though. My pitch was so bad, I would show up and I was like stuttering and I didn't know what I was saying and my face was turning red. And a lot of the times I just literally wanted to shut the door for the client. Like I just wanted to like move them out of the way of their door, grab their door and shut it for them so that I could end the embarrassment. But what I did is I started giving myself the objective to as long as they were standing there and listening to whatever the fuck was coming out of my mouth that I wasn't gonna stop talking until I get a door shut in my face. And then I literally would push myself to get X amount of doors shut in my face every single day. And it was absolutely crazy. I was going through an emotional wreck on so many levels because I felt I was alone without my family, without my stuff. I only packed like two bags, had no money, was digging myself into debt, wasn't selling, wasn't confident. It was just absolutely wild. But I ended up sticking it out. And it is one of the things I am most proud about in this chapter of my life because door to door now has become something that I truly love doing. I love spending time with my clients. I love joking around with them, chilling in their house, writing up deals and making absolutely insane money. It taught me like the most valuable lesson that I can ever learn in my life. And it's literally this, like just decide what you want and then stick it out, stick it out. If it takes you a month to even get in the ring and then three weeks to win a fight, it's worth it. Because at the end of the day, you know that you were the type of person that wanted this so bad that you stuck it out and you ended up getting to the other side and you were victorious. And that builds self-confidence that you can literally not take away from a person. That builds something inside of you that makes you such a fucking asset and literally a force of nature. And that was the one thing that I learned in my first sales job that can never be taken away from me. If you want anything, persistence is key. And don't give yourself all of these limitations by trying to figure out what's going to happen. Just literally go for it. When I landed in Fort Mac in Alberta, I could have never even imagined the fucking obstacles that I was going to have to overcome to end up being successful on the other side. I showed up and our window, like our picture window in our house, was smashed because someone had tried to break in. We had sewage coming up one of our sinks in the kitchen everything was a mess it was crazy guys it was crazy and then we went out to go grab some groceries because it was literally our first day there and there were families on drugs it was such an eye-opening experience and it made me so fucking grateful for how i was raised and what childhood I was able to have. It gave me a whole new perspective on life. But the biggest takeaway that I have is literally persistence in any goal. And stop thinking about it before you go. Just go and have the faith in yourself that you're going to overcome absolutely anything. So I hope that this provided some value for you, even if you just get one piece, like one gem that you're able to use from this in your life that is a win in itself. So if you haven't already, subscribe for more content like this. I absolutely love spending time with you guys on here and I will see you next week.